What's going on everybody, 915Mang here, doing a video today. This one is going to kind of talk about how I do my water changes and what I have been doing. Ended up switching to the Red Sea Coral Pro Salt. Picked this up by the box. And by the box it does about 160 gallons worth of uh, water changes. So does the uh, Reef Crystals bucket that I'm using. Also does about 160 gallons of uh, water changes uh, ended up deciding that I was gonna go ahead and change it up um, I've been using instant ocean for quite a long time and to be honest I think it's uh, just fine but I want to try out the coral pro salt as far as uh, getting my tank back in shape I know there's a lot of people that also use the coral pro uh, the Red Sea blue bucket um, if you use the blue bucket versus the Coral Pro, let me know. The reason why I went with the Coral Pro uh, is supposed to be a little bit better and it's about the same price as the Red Sea Blue Bucket. So I was already out of the Instant Ocean Reef Crystals. So what I did is I just went ahead and recycled my bucket, got a piece of green tape, painter's tape and labeled it Red Sea Coral Pro so that I know. Uh, one thing about the uh, Red Sea Coral Pro is you got to kind of mix it up and uh, you got to best way to do it is by weighing it. So I got myself a scale. I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. The uh, little bit of formula of what your salinity needs to be at for the 0.1.025 that us reefers use. Um, bef before I do that, I use a regular cup like this, this is what I would use to mix, mix my Instant Ocean up. But uh, now that I went to Red Sea Coral Pro, I gotta go ahead and weigh it. So it's 148 grams per gallon, right? So what you do is you put your cup on the uh, scale, make sure you hit tear. Tear will subtract the weight of the cup. And then from there you can go ahead and scoop it into your uh, salt mix which is the red sea coral pro so it ends up being 740 grams per 500 five gallons of um, water so if you're doing a 20 gallon water change it equals times 740 grams equals to 2960 so what i ended up doing is i scoop it once i scoop it that came out to 753 go ahead and subtract 753 from your um the top 2960 and then that tells you how much you owe left see that one came out to 527 do the same thing and then it'll tell you how many more grams of uh, salt you need to mix into your water you keep doing that until you get to however many gallons that you're mixing in this case i'm doing 20 gallons so like I said I needed the 2960 grams so this is what it looks like um, at first when I started doing it I would just write it down on paper but now I just do it on my phone and I just subtract it from there for me this is a lot more work than doing it with the reef crystals but if you use a scale and you weigh it your salinity comes out spot on I actually have two brew containers. This is a 30 something gallon brew container with the wheels on the bottom so you can roll around real easily. And then I have a 20 gallon brew container uh, which I use as my wastewater. What, I, what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and mix it up and show you the next process of my water change. I've also put numbers in five gallon in increments. So I got the five, 10, 15, 20. 25 labeled right there just to make my water changes go a lot easier I top off with my five gallon bucket and then I go ahead and mix it up with a pump I always use a filter stock um, as you can see this is a nice filter stock it's like a mesh but it still captures quite a bit of the particles and before I do any kind of water change I always make sure to disconnect the uh, collection cup from the protein skimmer and clean it up uh, just because the water level sometimes throws all whatever you collected inside of your skimmer back into your tank. And 
another pro tip is get yourself a long turkey baster and go ahead and start pumping the water into the, uh, the tank just trying to blow off whatever detritus and debris you can get uh, just because uh, you want to get as much of this junk as possible it's a lot of nasty stuff hiding underneath the uh, frag plug so I go ahead and blow it off with my turkey baster and I just try to keep this tank as clean as possible which is another kind of benefit of going semi bare bottom this is not a totally bare bottom but it is you know a lot easier to clean than uh, with sand I also crank up my uh, power heads as high as possible so I can get as much uh, flow in there and just get it going so that it'll be nice and clean like I said this is probably going to be boring for you pro um, aquarium reef keepers but this is uh, kind of geared to the people that are interested in getting into the hobby and you know trying to give them as much knowledge as possible so feel free to chime in in the comments below and tell them your process you are also going to want to disconnect your auto top off the reason why is because as you're doing your water change and you're draining your auto top off is going to go ahead and be refilling the tank while your tank is losing water so go ahead and disconnect that having plenty of towels is also a lifesaver because you don't want to spill water all over the place you want to be able to quickly dry anything in case you do spill it another thing to do is get those clips they're little clamps so that way you can attach hoses securely you don't want to leave anything draining pouring without those clamps because you don't want to walk away from your tank as you're draining or filling anything up well guys i hope you liked this video it was a short simple and sweet video like i said i'm switching over my salt from instant ocean to reef red sea coral pro uh, nothing wrong with the reef crystals but i just wanted to go ahead and try something new make sure you get yourself a long turkey baster they're a lifesaver and if you have a deep deep tank like i do You'll be able to get all this detritus up as much as possible when you do the water changes. You can get them pretty cheaply on Amazon. And if you have a nano, this thing will be more than enough. Thanks, guys. You guys take it easy. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with somebody.